Hi everyone. If you are an attacking minded player and want to force your opponent to play a boring and defensive game, then look no further than the Smith Moore Gambit. This 1972 correspondence game between Roselli and Tereshenko is an instructional masterpiece of the Smith Moore. Let's look at it. So the game went e4, c5, d4. We are offering black the d pawn without the intention of taking it back with the queen. c takes e4, c3. Most of the time black will accept the gambit and play d takes c3, knight takes c3. And this is the starting position of the smith mora gambit. We can see that white has all kinds of files, diagonals, and squares available to him. I'd imagine that half of this video will be me drawing lines for this position. Okay, so we also want to notice that in this position, unlike in the Sicilian games, white does have an open C file. This is important because in the Sicilian games, black makes use of the semi-open C file. And here we can counter that with our own rook on C1. Black played knight C6, developing the knight and stopping the E5 advance. Knight F3, D6, establishing a firmer hold of E5 and opening up lines for the light squared bishop. Bishop c4, e6. We can see that in this kind of structure, with there being a pawn on e6 and f7, the white light squared bishop is biting on granite. But don't worry, there are often tactics to deal with this. It should be noted that this e6 move does create a weakness the d6 pawn, and white's play will look to exploit that weakness. Castle kingside, we can see all very natural development from white. a6, the smith mora is super tactical and black plays this a6 move because he is, for good reason, worried about such tactics. Queen e2, a very important move because it clears the d1 square for the rook, bishop e7, rook d1, putting the rook on the semi-open file, the same file as the black's queen, queen c7, moving the queen off the same file as the rook and creating more control over the e5 square. But here we play bishop f4, attacking black's weakest point, the d6 pawn, and it should also be noted both that the bishop is now on the same diagonal as the queen, and that if black plays e5, white will at the very least have the d5 outpost for the knight. Here black played knight e5. This is not the best Black should have played knight f6 instead. White plays bishop takes e5. With this move, white is getting rid of an important defensive piece for black. Black plays d takes e5. In this position, white plays the kind of tactical move that it, we can expect to see in the Smith Mora. Bishop b5 check. King f8 was played, but let's go back and look at what happens if black plays a takes b5. This move simply allows white too much initiative. For example, knight takes b5, attacking the queen, queen a5, rook a c1. The threat here is knight c7 winning the exchange. Black does not have good moves here. 
and will likely have to play a move like king f8 and thereby condemn his h8 rook to passivity. In the actual game, white played king f8 right after the bishop check. So let's go back and look at that. So bishop b5 check, king f8, rook a c1. Let's note that the move queen b8 does not work here. So if black plays queen b8, we have the move knight a4. So this is the move to remember. And, and there's a tactical idea here. If, let's say, a takes b5, we have knight b6. We can see that the tactical idea is rook takes c8, check, winning the queen. And if black plays queen a7, we can simply win the c8 bishop. So let's go back and look at what was actually played. Black played a takes b5. And white played knight takes b5, attacking the queen. Queen a5, rook c7. This is a very sinister move. We want to play queen c4 and take the c8 bishop with our rook. How can black stop this? Well, he plays the move b6. Black is looking to develop his bishop to a6. Now, if white were to play queen c4 here, black would be winning. So let's let's take a look at that. So say queen c4, the, the variation might go something like this. Bishop a6, a4, bishop f6, rook cd7, bishop takes b5, a takes b5, g6. Black looks fine now that he can uh, fiend shadow his king. So let's go back. White, instead of queen c4, which is a mistake, played knight takes e5. Black played f6. There really weren't good moves for black, but black plays a move that speeds up his defeat. Can you calculate the win from here? Pause the video if you want to try. All right. So the move is rook d8 check. Black has only one reply. Bishop takes d8, rook f7 check, king e8, only move, knight d6 checkmate. A beautiful checkmate to end a, an instructional masterpiece. One of the aspects of the Smith Mora that should be apparent from this game is how much there is an abundance of tactics. Hopefully you've enjoyed this game. If so, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.